Sit back and pay attention, fourth grade better stop and listen uh-huh. We about to talk about the ocean systems Oceans cover most of the world that we love to live in uh-huh. And they give support to many different organisms Woo. But if you go a little deeper you'll be really happy uh-huh. You'll find mountains of volcanoes and a lot of valleys You'll find canyons and trenches and plains On the ocean floor you will surely be amazed uh-huh. The continental shelf is the edge of the continent if you wanna go swimming, it's the best place. It's immersed in shallow water, you can catch waves, and it goes from the shoreline to the shelf break. Next up is the continental slope. It goes from the shelf down to the ocean floor. A sharp decline, so you better not slip. It's deeper than the shelf, it's an underwater cliff. Uh huh. Ocean floor, let's take a trip to the ocean floor. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ocean floor, let's take a trip to the ocean floor. Uh huh. Continental shelf, continental slope, continental rise underwater, here we go. Abyssal plain to the ocean trench, it's the ocean floor, and you already know. Uh-huh. I build up a sediments on the sea floor, it's the continental rise, now I gotta tell you more. A low relief zone where deposits stay, between the continental slope and the abyssal plain. Large flat land with a big purpose, abyssal plain is more than half of the earth's surface. Invertebrates and protozoa live perfectly. Has high levels of biodiversity A V-shaped valley on the ocean floor That's the ocean trench, need I say much more? Deepest part of the ocean is subduction zones Tectonic activity makes them grow Continental shelf, continental slope Continental rise underwater, here we go A pistol plane, the ocean trench <clears throat> Oh wow Yeah. This is a journey into sound.